I mean, we would hang out on the set, and while they were setting up, and we were all evolving the game, so we were actually playing games against each other. That was an extremely fun day. They put us in these, like, jock straps. They were so embarrassing. We were nothing more than hunks of flesh. We were beefcake. It was exploitation of male sexuality. Action! Stand up! Take it easy! Take it easy! Take it easy! Yeah, I've had a baritone voice since I'm about 13, 14 years old. You got into that doggone thing. I mean, these things were so doggone tight, I thought I was gonna turn into a tenor, man. Well, Lorette and I just had the best time with those boys in those triad uniforms because they came out in little Speedo shorts with hockey helmets on, and we just teased them terribly. I mean, she has a much more vivid memory of this, and it was the whole thing about those, those costumes that the guys wore were a scream, you know? They were, they just cried out for, for, you know, teasing. I mean, these guys had been in these great warrior costumes with their laser guns, and then they come in in these little funny triad things with their little helmets and their little ears sticking out, and they were so cute. And so we kept trying to think of funny things to do. There's a shot where both Dirk and Richard are about to go into the arena of, you know, to play their triad game, and us girls are standing behind them like, you know, you go guys, you go win this triad game for us girls. And they turn and look at each other and give one of these heroic, let's go into the field of battle looks to each other, at which point Lorette and I grabbed the back of those little Speedo pants and went, yank! And we gave those boys wedgies they still remember. She's the instigator on that one, but we laughed so hard. We felt that we had the upper hand in that situation with the guys. The raid on Gamore, when we all paired